Hey guys, Pop Up Daddy here bringing you another episode of my series, Now You Know. This time I'm talking about the M16 versus the Type 95. Recently, Modern Warfare 3 had a patch that beefed up a certain amount of guns, and I wanted to talk about how the M16 got beefed up and um, is it better than the Type 95? Which uh, of the burst guns is now the best? And throughout my playing, I today I just finished getting all of them to 30. Uh, getting them to gold is actually really hard. And so I wasn't going to spend the time because from 1 to 30 is the amount from 30 to 31. And so I've used every attachment on each of, um, each of the guns. So I, I know a lot about it, so it's not like, oh, I'm not giving you guys the, f the most in-depth um, detail about it. And as you can see from the clips that I've already started, uh, I'm mashing up different clips uh, of what I've gotten with the M16 first, because that's what I want to talk about first. And I found that with the patch, it, it's such a joy using the M16 now. I used to use it post patch or pre patch actually, and it was garbage. And it was like you were hampered or at least not as good when when using it. And that's the thing. I congratulate Infinity War on doing patching the want guns to not make them overpowered, but at least useful. And that's what they've done here. They've made the M16 a really viable weapon now. And I enjoy using it. I do get like really good games with this. And so if you guys are looking for a different gun to try out because Modern Warfare 3 is ending up being stale, start using the M16. It's a good burst fire weapon. It's still um, high on the recoil though. So also when I was using rapid fire, I felt like it did a little too much. So that's another thing. Rapid fire with this gun is a little too much. and. I felt way better using the M16. The best setup for me was M16 Red Dot with the extended mags. They beefed up the fire rate a little bit. Uh, I think it's 800, somewhere above 800 rounds per minute now. And so rapid fire just makes that overload. And I found that without it, it does perform still as good as the Type 95. And it's just a real great gun to use. So I recommend using the red dot with extended mags. That's my best time using it. And the most fun I've had using it was those two proficiencies. Actually, uh, proficiency wise, um, kick is always good because this is a high recoil gun. Uh, attachments is always good with any gun as well as this one. That's why I said the red dot and extended mags. As you can see from the clips here now, that's what I was using. And I just end up going ham with some of this, uh, some of these clips. And with the Type 95, I just um, you don't really you need rapid fire with that gun. You can. It's also viable not to use it, but I just found uh, Type 95 to be a little bit better when uh, with rapid fire and the different op optical attachments. Mm. Type 95's optical attachments, I found that um, the red dot was the best one as well. Holographic wasn't really too good. It wasn't, um, I actually hated using the holographic with the Type 95. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, M16 holographic was also a little bit um, under performance too. I didn't like that. Uh, I found it to be annoying kind of and how I wasn't getting my kills as much um, holographic I wouldn't recommend it on either of the weapons but the thermal sight I actually had fun with this it was actually a really um, I wouldn't say easy but you you kept on target and it wasn't like using thermal with other weapons so if you want to you could use thermal it's um, it's usable but on most of the assault rifles and especially the submachine guns except for like the mp7 I found it was just not usable at all 
but with the Type 95 as you can see here I really do enjoy using uh, I did enjoy using the thermal it was a viable attachment and uh, Type 95 now uh, before it was the best th um, three burst weapon of the assault rifles in the game M16 cannot compare in the beginning I didn't use it though and right here my controller goes out and I still get this guy yeah but Type 95 was the best hands down nothing could beat it it was amazing amazing gun but I didn't enjoy it in the beginning I, I just don't know why but now um, after the patch I, uh, I had to use both of the weapons whether or not I liked it and I enjoyed using them and the clips I got were pretty good and it was like game after game so if you want to improve your performance in, in game uh, these two weapons are very highly recommended because the medium recoil high recoil it doesn't matter you keep your shots on target focus oh, I was using the focus proficiency with the M16 as well and Type 95 that is a really good attachment if you want to use that because I find myself getting shot at a lot and with the focus attachment uh, my reticule didn't move from their head and I ended up getting a lot more kills than I should have so that is a really good proficiency to use with this or those two burst fire weapons and before like I was saying the um the Type 95, uh, I uh, didn't like uh, the suppressor on it that much, like because I felt like it took away from damage. Also with the M16, uh, I used suppressor red dot, and I still felt like I was doing less damage, and that it took more bullets to kill. Uh, with the M16, it's a two to three burst now, so when you get um suppressor on it it really I think it makes it a three to four I just didn't find using suppressor all that good so if you I, th I recommend not using the suppressor attachments uh, but you are going to be shown on the mini map so that's always like something to be a uh, reminder of but it kept bringing the traffic towards me which I kind of like that's why I like using not using suppressors because it brings the traffic towards me and that's how you get you know the high kill streaks or uh, your moabs or whatever because um although rushing around is a part of getting a moab um you have to go get a perfect amount of like rushing or people spawning near you and so these guns did a pretty good job of that i had a lot of gameplay where i almost got the moabs um with the um with the guns but sadly i didn't but I have some new information about uh, this is I think I'm the only person to ever do this but uh, like I said I used every attachment for each of the weapons and I found out that using the rapid fire attachment with guys I'll show you a game I've got after I'll probably post it up it's got me using the rapid fire attachment with hybrid scope and it's amazing you guys have to use this spread the word I don't know but it's a laser with that attachment and I my brother was like don't do it it's gonna have high recoil but really it doesn't have any recoil and even if people were shooting at me I found that I still had my shots on target and I was just shooting too fast for them and it was just really great with that uh, setup so even don't worry if you think the recoil is gonna be insane because I even used the the even more zoomed in scope and it was amazing but to wrap it up um, overall I congratulate and applaud Infinity Ward for what they did Type 95 is still the better gun you guys should use it but M16 is now a viable weapon, so you can use that too. And I had an enjoyable time using both. It wasn't like, oh, I had to go get gameplay for this. It was like, yes, gameplay with Type 95 and M16. 
So if you guys haven't started using both weapons, uh, you should start now. Thanks for listening and bye.